Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, man. We got another game we reacting to, the Ghost Recon Breaking Point. Now, I'm a little behind the ball with this one. I didn't know that this game existed. I didn't know that they were still making Ghost Recon games, but I also did a little research, you know what I'm saying? And I found out that, you know, this game is currently free on PC and it is an online based game. Now, from what I read though, it said that initially it did not do well at the start of the game, but it's now starting to do better. And also I believe with this launch trailer that they showed off to the Operation Motherland, that it might potentially even do a little bit better than what some people are thinking or don't know. So I think that this game might start to pull in a little more attention, especially after you guys see some of the features that they have getting ready to come out on November the 2nd. So next week, this game is going to be dropping some new content with a new map, new map, I guess, and new guns, new operators and all types of new things. Also, I also seen in this video that their level cap is going to be at 99 instead of 30. So a lot of good things to look forward to in this video, man. And in this update, when it does go live again, I'm new to this, did not know that this was a thing, did not know it was out and they were talking about campaign mode. So I'm thinking, oh, is it only a story based game? Just do a little research and you find out that it's not solely just based on that. If you are a guy or a girl that is interested in Ghost Recon and, and the breakpoint, this is definitely the reaction video for you. We gonna be looking at all the things that's to come and see just how good this is. And that's my question to you guys. Do you think that this update is gonna be good enough for Ghost Recon? And also, do you feel like with this update, it'll start to bring in more attraction and attention to the game to have more people coming to play or is the fan base already big enough in you guys' opinion? Let me know down in the comment section below. But before we get into the reaction of the video, man, I have to do my do just and say that we are currently trying to reach our sub goal that we have. We are currently at 332 subs and the goal is to hit a thousand before the end of January 1st, so New Year's. So that's the goal, man. It would be super appreciated if you guys could help me out to get to that goal, man, and be a part of this journey. We do a lot of reactions and, and gameplay all up on this channel, so I hope to see you guys be a part of the journey and subscribe to the channel, and also turn that notification bell on so you always be notified whenever I post another video. And without further ado, man, let's get right into this reaction video. Oh, it's hey in Ghost. 4K. Hey, Ghost. Operation Motherland is the brand new update for Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Breakpoint. Oh, wait, is this a just a... few months after the event of Operation Greenstone, Operation Motherland is led by an old friend of the Ghosts, Karen Bowman. Okay. After you and your squad completed your original mission on Aroa, the island quickly became a strategic place for powerful countries looking to get their hands on its technology. Alrighty. In response, the CIA has tasked Karen Bowman to defuse this global upcoming crisis by giving the control of the island to a neutral force, the Outcasts, led by Harui Ito. To do so, you will have to help the Outcasts get rid of the remaining enemy forces in a brand new mode, the Conquest Mode. Oh, the Conquest, so conquest. Mode is a new alternative okay. mode to Ghost Recon Breakpoint Story Mode. You will have to conquer various territories of Aroa by carrying out various destabilization missions. Note that each of the missions you complete will have an impact on the world dynamics. What the hell is deactivating that? Deactivating drone surveillance, oh, okay. removing enemy presence, or increasing outcast patrols. Choose the mission you want in any order and reshape the world of Aroa. Territories are ruled by lieutenants. Okay. Destabilize and conquer all the regions of a territory will give you clues to identify its lieutenant, neutralize them, and liberate the area. Freeing That's kind of in depth. That's a lot players to reach the final region and complete the liberation of Aroa. And as you might have guessed, Sentinel aren't going to be the only enemies you'll have to fight on your quest to free Aroa. Operation Motherland will see the return of an iconic enemy of the ghosts, oh. the Bodarks. Allied to the Sentinel and Wolves, they brought their own helicopters and trucks, adding new convoys and patrols throughout Aroa. Players will have to fight five enemy archetypes with new gameplay mechanics, bringing an extra layer of tactical options. The tactician is a caller. He'll try to stay alive and call up numerous reinforcements to overwhelm the ghosts. Okay. The oppressor and Dreadnought both carry extra armor, while the oppressor is a rusher that will come at you with his SMG. The Dreadnought this nigga will got stay a whole from you with his rocket launcher. Mm. Finally, the trooper and seeker are both riflemen. While the trooper is a standard soldier, the seeker comes with an extra piece of tech in his kit. 
Oh, Indeed, wow. Operation Motherland also marks the return of an iconic feature, the optical camo. You will be able to unlock the optical camo in the conquest mode, as well as its own progression system that will offer you ways to make it even more efficient. Upgrading the optical camo will allow you to improve its battery duration or even increase the efficiency of the camo. While the optical camo can be unlocked and upgraded in the conquest mode, you will also be able to equip it in the story mode once unlocked. Wow! That's not all, Ghosts. Operation Motherland also comes with a bunch of other gameplay additions and improvements. Maximum XP level has been raised to 99 instead of 30. Wow, that's a huge jump. Objective to everyone with unlockable weapons and gear. A new weapon mastery system will now allow you to use your extra skill points in order to improve certain characteristics of selected weapon categories. Talking about weapons, the Bodoks have brought with them five new Russian weapons and variants. And they given niggas new guns? On, as well as six new weapons and variants that will be available in Maria's shop. Maria's shop will also be restocked with various new customization options and vehicle skins. Furthermore, by progressing in the liberation of Aroa in the conquest mode, you will be able to unlock new weapons, equipment, and vehicle skins. Once unlocked, they will also be available in the story mode. Finally, as a celebration for the 20th anniversary of Ghost Recon, this update will also include three iconic skins of famous characters from previous games. That's all for me, Ghosts. Hope you're as excited as I am for this new content. Wait, wait, wait. See you soon on Aroa. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Everything's coming out in November, November 2nd. So this game's already been out, right? And um at first I was watching it and I'm thinking, okay, so it's just a story mode based game. I don't mm, I don't know about all that. It doesn't seem all that great. But then you talking about the the level has been jumped up from 30 to 99. You kind of making it sound like y'all y'all kind of got somewhat of a new world system on your hand where you you just progress in the game online with other people and y'all out there trying to handle some shit. Am I what have I been missing? This threw me for a loop, but everything sounded good. I just don't know what it sounds good for. Like, is it online play or is it solely based on story mode and you can progress yourself? If it is, that's still not bad. It's just not my cup of tea. But I don't see them putting something out like that. That wouldn't be online. You know what I mean? Like this day and age, everything is is based off of your online gameplay. That shit was fire though. And it gave me a lot of information. I just need to know, is this a game? <sighs> Well, look, I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comment section below, or I'll look it up myself and figure it out. And then when you guys do hit me up in the comments or don't your choice, I'll at least have a better idea of this, this, uh, ghost recon breakpoint thing. So that was a fire ass, um, uh, little trailer though, man. I, I, I rock with it, but yeah, man, you guys got something to look forward to for all the people who are really still heavy on the Ghost Recon, man. It is going to be dropping next week on Tuesday with a lot of other things coming out on Tuesday. It's a, it's a good little time to be invested in video games, man. So I hope that you guys are looking forward to it. You guys let me know if you're excited for this. And also let me know. Put Come on. Put your boy in there on the knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Like, pull me over and be like, hey, look, this is what's going on, right? You don't know about this. We've been trying to be on the down low, but now we're ready to show people in the world. You, you know, help me help you help you help me. Okay. With that, though, that's going to do it for the video, man. I got to get out of here, and I'm going to catch y'all in the next one.
with every moment. She independent with a mind that I never noticed. It got me running on my mind like I never noticed. They tryna knock me off my pivot, dog. I need a focus. Got the burner on my side, cause I'm too devoted. They steady tryna come and slide, I just know it's loaded. Got these demons on my side, how I never noticed. But when you out here doing bad, that's when they the closest. Got me out here on my let loose, let it up, let it up, let it up, bet it up, bet it up, let it up, let it up.